Hey, what is going on guys? It's Low Heat and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Ableton Live's clip envelopes to sort of slice and rearrange samples and this is a pretty easy way to create those stutter effects and cuts. The clip envelopes are a really powerful feature of Live and I already have a video where I show you how to use the transposition parameter to create a tape stop effect. I will link to that video in the description but in this one we're going to be focusing on the sample offset parameter. So let's get into it. So this method works best with samples that have a lot of rhythm like drum loops or whole musical phrases from songs and the other thing is that you need to have the loop warped. I will also link to my warping tutorial in the description of the video but loops in Ableton Live should be warped automatically depending on your settings. The other thing we need to do is here we need to have it on the beats warping mode which again is the default warping mode usually in Live so chances are these settings will already be the way they should be as you load up a loop inside your Ableton session. So here's the loop that we have here. So what we need to do is click on this envelope symbol here and then we're in the envelope section. We need to have clip selected from the first drop down menu and from the second one we select sample offset. And again, you need to have selected beats mode because the sample offset is not available for all modes. When you enable the sample offset parameter, you see this line here. As you hover your mouse on the line, you see plus minus 16th notes. So this indicates that if we edit this envelope curve, which is sort of like an automation curve, life will play a different section from the loop, a certain number of 16th notes ahead or before the place we are editing at that actual place. And if this doesn't make sense, let me show you what I mean. For ease of use, we're going to activate the pencil tool, which is the B letter on your keyboard. And so, for example, if we make it minus four sixteenths, it will play what is four sixteenths behind this place. And it's going to sound like this. We make it minus eight here. Let me also do it minus two sixteenths here, minus four here, and maybe minus eight here. And you can change the resolution, by the way, by right clicking and choosing a different grid with a different note value, but we're using sixteenth notes here. Let's do minus four here again. So messed around a bit and created another variation here. So I just deleted this final part of the clip and separated the hit on the fourth bar as a separate clip by selecting it and hitting command E. And another cool edit that we can do fairly easily, we can just switch the warping mode, for example, to texture. And by shift clicking the clip up here in the arrangement view, we can drag it and make it longer. And so we have this grain size and flux parameter. And again, this is on texture mode. So this is going to be a great way to add additional textures and edits to what we just did. What I can do now is just duplicate this one, press the reverse key and I already have a very nice edit. And if we go to again the clip section and there we have the grain size setting and you can just automate the grain size. So just to reiterate, we have the first part of the clip on beats mode and we have edited the clip sample offset section while I separated this last hit into a separate clip and I switched this one to texture mode in order to be able to stretch it and automate the grain size. And the grain size sounds really nice when we use the clip envelopes to change it. And by the way, if this video is useful to you, make sure to hit the like button down there, subscribe to the channel. And another way to support it is to check out my Ableton Live packs and sample packs from the link down in the description 
of the video. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next video.